Okay, so essentially this question, it wants to know which one of those five it represents the heat of a chemical reaction regardless of how the reaction is done. Okay, so regardless of the circumstances, which one is the more general case for any heat of a reaction? Well, let's just kind of go through. This is a Q, this can be a heat, but this is specifically a constant volume. So this is a specified, they want a general answer. What works for anything? Well, this is only for constant volume. That's what the low V means. This one, this is a heat also. So notice, these are both heat, but they're not the kind of heat you're looking for because this is a constant pressure. So uh, forget about that one because we want a general case. This one, what's this equal to? Yeah, this is Q. Remember, Q plus W equals delta U. This is a general case. This is heat. So, yes, I'll put a star by that one. That was great. Okay? That's general. It's not a constant volume, not a constant pressure. It works for anything. Delta U. Is this heat? What, what is delta U? Does anybody remember? Internal. Internal energy. Internal energy is the heat plus the work. Now, that's not heat. So forget that. That's garbage. Okay, these two didn't work. Those are bad. Okay, let's look at the last one. Delta H, what's that? That's Q at constant pressure. This is really the same as this one. You're, they're right in saying it's a heat, but it's not heat of a chemical in general. It's heat at constant pressure. So this is the only one that's general, not at constant pressure or constant temperature. Okay. Is that one okay? Yeah. So consider this one just a, a pure concept question.